Hi there, it's Carrie from GetAnRowXWebsite.com. Today I want to show you how to add a new page to your website. You already have several pages of content on your website. For example, if I click, click on the organics link here on the demo site, uh, you can see that you've already got some content here. That's a website page and I'm going to show you how to make a new one today. Okay, so to do that you log into your admin area. I have my admin area open over here already so I'm going to click over here and you go to Tools, Easy Pages. Okay, we're going to make a new easy page. You already have several here and I will explain to you the red and green squares but not just this minute. I'm going to show you first how to make a new page. Okay, so you click on New File and you need to give your page a title. So say you want to call your page uh, Chemical Cleaners because your page is going to be all about chemical cleaners and how horrible they are for the environment. So you give it that that uh, title and then here we have header, side box, footer and then we have something called chapter. I'm going to explain chapter in a while but uh, in a different video but here we have header, side box, footer that we care about. If I click back to the main page here this top bar is your header. If we scroll down a little wee bit here uh, this, the, um, on the side you have the side box area and then in the footer uh, you can put links or pages in your footer too. Most of the time you would want to put a page in your header. Okay, so back here on the admin area I'm going to say yes I want it in my header, no I don't want it in a side box, no I don't want it in a footer, no I don't want it in a table of contents. Okay, I just want it in the header. Then it asks you what order do you want the page to go in. If we click back here to look at the front of the site, each of these links at the top, uh, which links, they all link to pages on your site, um, each of them has an order number. I'm going to show you, go back and show you those, but uh, the lower the number, the closer to the beginning of the row of uh, links it will show. So say this is 10 and 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 and 70. Okay, if you were to change organics to be 100, it would jump down here. Okay, so the higher the number, the more to the right it goes. So I'm going to make my link here, my chemical cleaners, I'm going to put it right now in order 100 just to make it show as far to the right as we can. So here is some text, say. Okay, uh, once I've got that done, then I just will click insert. And then if I go to the front end of my site and refresh, then here's my chemical cleaners. Okay, and if I click it, then you see it says here's some text which is just what I typed. Now say once I make it, I think well I actually don't want it there, I want it somewhere over here. Okay, I want it in between these guys, in between organics and Norwex frequently asked questions. Well then in the back end you have to look in the header row. Okay, look for the ones that are turned on. The about me one is turned on, it's number 40. The chemical cleaners one is turned on, it's number 100. Contact is turned on, it's number 50. Organics is 20, About Norwex is 10, Norwex FAQ is 30 and then usage is for some reason number 35. You can number them like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 if you want to but then if you want to move them around you have no room in between so that's why I like to order them by 10 so that if I want to put something in between two others I can do that. Okay, so let's say where did I want to put it? I want to put it between Organics and Norwex FAQ. Then I look for um, Organics is number 20, FAQ is 30. So I could make that Chemical Cleaners number 25. So I'm going to edit it by clicking the green edit button and I'm going to change the order to 25. And I'm going to update it. And then when I refresh my page, now it's here in between. Okay, so that's how you move things around. Now another neat thing about um, Easy Pages, say that on that Chemical Cleaners link uh, I don't want actually to have a page of text at all, I want to have a link to somewhere else. I'm going to take this text out of here and I'm going to go down here to my external link and say I want to link this page to uh, norwex.ca www.norwex.ca uh, I'm going to click update and then if I refresh my page then when I click on the chemical cleaners link it actually will take me to norwex.ca which it looks like it's becoming norwex.com or they've, they've got it linking to norwex.com. Okay, if you notice when I clicked on that link it actually replaced my site page. So my site is gone and now I'm at Nor the Norwex site. Uh, we don't want that to happen 
unless you're linking to another page within your website, we don't want um, your link to just to be replaced by a new site. So what we do to resolve that is in the link spot, I'm going to edit back into that chemical cleaners part. Uh, it's right now it says, do you want this link? Remember we made the link down here to norwex.ca. Do you want this link to open in a new window? And we've said no. And we need to say, yes, we want it to open in a new window. Okay, and we update it. And then on the front end of the site, if you refresh it, now if we kick that, click that chemical cleaners link, now it takes us to a new window. So we've got our site and we've got the new window. Okay, so that's it. That is how you make a page or a link on your site. And in the next video I do, I will show you how to make what's called a table of contents. And a table of contents is when you have several different pages all together within one area, like what we have under Norwex FAQ on the demo site where you see one, two, three, four pages all here. So that if I click on one of the links, I get a new page, but within the same area. Okay. That's it. So make yourself some new pages and have fun with that.